Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about Scala annotations. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So annotations, Scala annotations associate meta information with the definitions, some data about data kind of informations about the definitions that we use in the Scala code. So a simple annotation has the form uh, how you use at the rate and annotation name and it can or cannot have the parameters and annotations uh, can be applied to the declarations, definitions, variables and expressions. So usually uh, these are the main annotations that most of the people use in the code. So uh, like uh, for example for the methods uh, we mainly use the uh, deprecated to, to tell that that method is deprecated. So for any classes we use a serializable annotation. For any except expressions we use unchecked uh, at unchecked expression uh, like annotation and for any types for, for example string at local kind of uh, annotations that we use and for variables we use either transient or volatile such kind of annotations okay so these are the available uh, i mean there are many but i have just named a few because there are many and we can create our own custom annotations as well so coming to this uh, deprecated right so deprecated means if you wanted to tell uh, compiler that to show any warning when some method is used so for for such cases we use at deprecated in the code so I, i'll just uh, show how exactly it will uh, it will look like when you create that so this i just created one simple object for this so let me quickly create uh, some small example to understand this okay for example we have some get some which takes uh, something and it prints a plus a. I mean I, it's very simple one okay so then here we will call this what is the problem ok so here let me call that get sum of 4 let's say ok so this is a normal function now if you wanted to say that this is deprecated deprecated means sometimes what will happen you know um, when you are working with uh, something I mean here I am writing everything in a single file so you are able to see the definition of each and every function now let's say in the real-time environment you have multiple Scala files and somewhere you you might have definition and somewhere else you might be calling that function so in such cases uh, you 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 can just use something like the deprecated because you don't want this uh, uh, function our method in the other files only use in one flow okay flow one the, in the second flow we shouldn't use let's say okay so we'll say use this uh, method A anything okay any warning whatever you want to uh, give it to the compiler warning whatever you want you can add that here so use this method only in flow one testing okay or flow one okay uh, something or any anything okay so we have to import scala dot annotation okay underscore a uh, dot underscore so with this I think spelling mistake ah. okay this is fine So we will use this deprecated something and when you notice that um, that method name is striped off once you declare that as deprecated. Okay, this is how we use deprecated for the functions. That's still not updated because it's a standalone eclipse. Okay, please bear with this. Yeah, now it's gone. And 
and next one is if you wanted to have some class as serializable then you can just uh, in front of the class you will say um, add serializable uh, for the class okay and then you will say class name or object name whatever wh for whichever you wanted to have the serializable means that this annotation to any class we if we, if we wanted to serializable right so for that we will use the serializable serializable is similarly the same one that usually uh, like uh, for converting the bytes to uh, objects so such so that is there no the similar one is there there so if you want any code to be or any class to be serialized you use this annotation called serializable okay then we have a serial version uid so this is maybe if you know java uh, if you have worked with java before you will understand this uh, this annotation is used for attaching a serial number to the version of the class okay and uh, next one is transient transient is used for uh, for for not persisting any any object okay so that makes the field non persistence and also if you don't want any field or method should not be serial uh, any field shouldn't be serialized at all then use the transient it is also similar at transient and the variable name okay and similarly this uh, volatile so this annotation uh, is to mock a field uh, which can change its value outside the control of the program okay so for that if if that is if that you don't want uh, uh, that uh, to change if you want that value to be changed then you can just say that at volatile and the variable name and this throws right for uh, throwing any exception uh, from the class level so you have to mention it as throws for the class so what it will uh, do this if um, i mean um, the if if you mention this throws for a method uh it um, explicitly you don't have to i mean you are telling that these are the uh, exceptions are being thrown and you don't have to explicitly mention it again in the in the code so uh, at throws and you will uh, take you will write some definition right then at the end you can just catch that exception it works that way okay and uh, we also have this uh, inline inline usually the, this annotation is used uh, to tell the compiler to use the inline the annotation so inlining means usually what is is inserting the code in a methods body at a calling site is called the inlining and uh, that is what is at inline if you want any any inline functionality to be incorporated then you can just mention at inline in just one line before the method okay and uh, this unchecked uh, this is used for suppressing the unchecked warnings usually uh, when we are working with expressions and arguments uh, we use this unchecked uh, annotation and uh, tail rec we have seen right for the tail recursion we have seen the at tail rec using this one right do you hope you, you have remember otherwise check the previous videos so these are the annotations and we can also create some custom annotations so these all these are why we are using is this is just um, anyway we have we will have the code code ready but uh, giving some instructions to the compiler uh, to take care of uh, before uh, compiling the code okay so this is what is called annotation so this is widely used in java and um, comparatively less used in scala okay but still it is always better to know about all these things so if you wanted to explicitly mention any any instruction to compiler then you can use the annotations okay thank you for watching the video friends hope this is useful to you please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you